is taking the express lane from bad. Well, it definitely makes us concerned. To worse, as a woman eluding police goes through yards the wrong way in traffic. She crossed over the double yellow. Over a barrier and straight through a red light. The journey all began in mayor's court. For Erica Barrio Rapp, she was facing minor charges here, but then found out she had felony warrants in Kentucky, including having a concealed weapon and heroin charges. She left the courtroom. One of our uh, duty lieutenants for day shift uh, tried to stop her. She jumped in her car, refused to get out, and then took off into the neighborhoods. Springdale Police Lieutenant Michael Ott was on patrol and ended up as the lead vehicle. He says suddenly the case took on a new dimension. As a lead unit, I was confirming that there was a kid in the car. But Rero Rapp had a child with her. In a nearby neighborhood, she tried to back away from police, but ended up driving in a yard, and the lawn driving continued. She goes in the grass on the other side. Later, she swerves into the lane of oncoming traffic, then runs across a concrete barrier. And she's not done. She drives through a red light, narrowly missing a school bus. Police call off the chase because it's just too dangerous. It's obvious her, her frame of mind is she's more worried about herself than, than anybody else, her kid or the public in general. Meanwhile, Barrero Rap makes it into this motel where she dashes inside, gets into a stranger's first room floor, but moments later, hears police and jumps out the window with the child and remains on the run. Now, in addition to the charges she was facing, she's also facing charges of running from police and endangering her own child. Brian Hamrick, WLWT News 5.